Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I, oh, oh yes, I like that. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? And where have you been? I've been living. <laughs> I'm here now. And that's the short and long of it. <laughs> I'm here now and I'm so excited. I'm really, really happy and it feels good. So much has happened in my life since the last time we've talked and I intend to share so much with you moving forward. But today, I wanna tell you why you have to keep going. You have to keep going because you have to keep going. I've been going through the ups and downs of pursuing the life that I want, the dreams that I want, the things that I see for myself here in LA, which I love. I am, I gotta tell you, I am absolutely in love with LA. There's nothing anyone can do to make me leave this place. <laughs> Unless something happens where I get married and my family, we decide to explore another place or another opportunity, I don't see myself leaving California anytime soon. And I'm really grateful that I've had the opportunity and the time to just enjoy it to explore, to, to live, to, to have fun, to go out, be in the sun, experience the weather. Woo! They don't call it the, the, uh, the weather tax for nothing, okay? <laughs> you are definitely paying for the weather. I love it and I really feel like I'm supposed to be here. Um, it's been two years now and I feel like this is it. This is where you're supposed to be. <laughs> this is where you're supposed to be. So I feel good about that, but I am still marching towards some goals and some achievements and some things that I want. I, I feel like I'm closer than ever, but sometimes I feel like I'm further. It's like I feel further than ever, but I feel closer than ever. It's like, you know, you're close, you know, you're getting there, but you're not quite there yet. And that in between space is scary, man. <laughs> it's scary. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this because while I'm going through it, we might as well talk about it, right? We might as well go through things together, right? I might as well share some of the things that I'm thinking about, some of the things that I'm experiencing as I'm living them, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. So I wanna talk to you about why I'm going to keep going. And it is my hope and it is my prayer that you decide to keep going as well after you watch this video. It is my hope that while watching this video, you feel encouraged, that you feel convicted to keep going toward the thing that you know you're supposed to be doing. I hope that in sharing my ups, my downs, the things that I'm learning, the things that I'm feeling, that you decide to keep going, that you decide, you know what, I'm not alone because you're not, <laughs> I'm not alone in this thing, right? There are other people who are going after things that they want and they're not quite there yet. And the people that you're looking at that seemingly have achieved the things that they want, please believe that they have experienced that in between. I did a short video on my Instagram last year called The In-Between. And it's such a special piece of content for me because it really embodies how you feel when you know you're supposed to be doing something in life. You've been working so hard at getting there and you're not quite there yet and it feels discouraging, it feels frustrating. Maybe it's because financially, you need more finances to get there, right? Maybe there's an idea, something's just not connecting for you, but there's something that's holding you back. And it feels frustrating, <laughs> especially if you've been in that space for quite some time. And so I created this piece of content called The In-Between, and it really just talks about that feeling of feeling in between the place where you are and the place you know you're meant to be, the place you can't stop thinking about, right? The place that you know your gifts and your talents are pulling you toward. That in-between space is frustrating. And so this video talks about that. 
but it talks about it through the lens of looking through old pictures. I was looking through old pictures and really just kind of looking back over my life and really thinking about all of the things that I've experienced, the things that I've overcome. I owe it to you, the girl that I'm looking at, this 19 year old girl, <laughs> this six year old girl, this girl who was in the hospital, almost losing her life. I owe it to you to keep going. I owe it to you to work through this frustrating place of the in-between. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And so that's what that piece of content was about. And so with that, when you're on that trek and that journey of going after what you want, what does it look like? to keep going through the frustration? What does it look like to keep going? And a couple of things came to mind for me. Create. Kick over me. Kick over me. <laughs> Perfect. Now come back out. And then walk toward me and almost like pass, pass. Action. Yes! Okay, and go. Let's see how I walk across this room. How could you not listen to me? Exactly, that's the attitude. Whatever you do, do your thing. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing, baby. <laughs> More emotive. Yeah. Like, just embody it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just, you want to hear it in your voice, but also like see it okay. in your body okay. physically. So like on screen, it's it's felt. I think I can do better than that. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll figure it out as I keep going, you know? That's all right, that's what it's for. You can watch the tape back. Yeah. Like I was just watching um, Kobe Bryant uh, was in an interview and he was talking about how Beyonce it. watches a tape back uh, after she performs. Well, we, we all know that she does this, but it so, was so cool to see just like sportsmen, like she watches her tape mm -hmm. back. And he would say, get it as perfect as it can be, mm -hmm. as good as it can be. So I say all that to say, as you're doing this, you watch the tape back yeah. and you see what you like, what you want to change or play around with. Process, yeah. stretching, the growing, all of that. As long as I am creating, as long as I'm not letting too much time go by without creating something, thinking of something, developing something, then I am moving closer toward my goal because for me, creating is the foundation of everything that I want for myself. Everything that I see for myself, the things that you all have told me we see you doing in the future, the things other people speaking to me, the things people can, can clearly see, <laughs> including myself, creating is the foundation of it all. And as long as I am creating and exercising my gift and stirring up my gift, I'm a little bit more prepared for the thing that I say that I want. So even if I don't see the, the place that I want, Right now, if I don't see the how, right? As long as I am creating, that for me is what it looks like to keep going. Second thing for me is living, living, right? And living for me looks like enjoying my life, exploring California, exploring LA, enjoying my loft here, enjoying my friends here, meeting new people, living, dating, exploring, you know, just living in this new space that I'm in. It's been two years now, but it still feels new. I feel like it's just the beginning for me. I feel like I'm in my prime and I feel like this is the time to go explore it all, right? To live, to love, to journey, to have fun, to eat new things, to see new sights, to have fun with my friends, to have fun by myself, to just explore this place and really be true to who I am in the moment and what 
that feels like authentically for me is what I want to pursue in that moment. And so for me, I'm not, I don't want to be so focused on, you know, professional goals that I lose sight of living. So I want to encourage you to really think about what does it look like to keep going for you? And that could be so, that could look like so many things to be a little bit more prepared for the thing that you know you want, for the thing that you know you deserve. What does that look like for you? What does that feel like for you? And I really want you to think about that. For me, it's going after exactly what I want. So even though I feel frustrated a lot, and I don't know how the things that I want to happen are going to happen, but I do know they're going to happen. So what I'm going to add to the list of what it looks like for me to keep going is speaking life over myself. You have got to tell yourself how incredible you are. You have got to tell yourself how good you are. You have got to recognize and remember and remind yourself that there is no one like you, that you are one of one. You are the limited edition. You are the one in a million. It's only you, baby. You have got to remind yourself of how special and rare you are. You have got to remind yourself that there is nothing else living or breathing that looks exactly like you, that has your fingerprint, that thinks the way you think, that is thoughtful in the ways that you are, that loves the way that you love, that laughs the way you laugh, that lives the way you live, that has experienced and overcome some of the things that you've overcome. It's, it's all wrapped up in you. And you can't take that from me. And I'm sure there's a lot of other incredible people out there, but they're not me <laughs> and I have to remind myself of that so that as I'm pursuing the life that I want I continue to walk in it with a healthy state of mind because this life is hard y'all it's hard it has moments of being hard and you have to have practices that fill you that make you feel good that keep you in a healthy state of mind so as I'm going after the things that I want in life I'm gonna make sure that I'm speaking well of myself because I do have moments where I'm really, really hard on myself and it doesn't feel good. So if you're experiencing something similar, please let me remind you to speak well of yourself. <laughs> speak well of who you are. How dare you look down on yourself? <laughs> How dare you not think the utmost of the creation that you are. So for me, I'm gonna keep it simple today. For me, what it looks like to keep going is creating, living, and speaking well of myself. But you gotta keep going because you need you. You need you. You need you. There are a lot of people walking this earth that need you, but most importantly, you need you. There are going to be people who who benefit from the things that you have to offer because our purpose is service. Your purpose is to serve. So the gifts that you have, the ideas, the calling, the things that you feel that are pulling you closer to who you want to be, baby, it's not just for you. It's for people around you. It's for people that you're going to interact with. It could be for your family, your friends, your colleagues. You are a light and you have to keep going because you are gonna be that fuel. You're gonna be that fuel to spark someone else. You gotta keep going, not only to make yourself happy, but to help someone else. I hope you keep going. I hope you remember and you recognize and you remind yourself that you are amazing, that you are incredible, that you are needed. So you got to keep going because you don't want to wake up six months from now or a year from now in the same place because you didn't do what you know you needed to do. I've been there and that shit feels horrible. <laughs> it feels horrible. So you got to keep going and I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep going <laughs> and we're going to keep growing. But please, you, you've got to keep going.
you got to keep going because you have places to be. You have things to see. You have people to touch. You have lives to reach. So you got to keep going. You have to keep going toward healthier self-esteem so you can have a better quality of life. You got to keep going. You got to put the work in so you can get where you know you deserve to be, where you know you want to be. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. And I'm going to keep going. I am going to keep going. <laughs> I'm out here in LA. It's, there's no plan B for me. <laughs> I got to keep going. And so I figured I might as well turn this camera on and talk to you about it. And we're going to keep going together. So welcome to episode one of the rest of my life. <laughs> because I am determined to just be the woman that I want to be. And we're not perfect. But every day you wake up is another chance to make a different decision. Every day is another chance to make a different decision. You can decide to make a new choice right now. <laughs> you don't even have to wait until tomorrow. You can decide to make a new decision, to make a new move right now. So I hope you have been encouraged by this simple word, but I just really wanted to, I really wanted to share that with you to really think about what does it look like to keep going for you and to define those things and to focus on those things this year. What does it look like to keep going? Really think about that. You have got to keep going. And I want you to really think about, write down in the comments, what does it look like for you to keep going? Just give me three things, and it could be more because I'm sure there's much more for me as well. My list is a bit longer. But tell me a couple things. What does it look like for you? Think about that to keep going, and let's hold each other accountable. Keep yourself accountable. Because when the time comes, when your moment comes, you want to be as ready as you can be, baby. And also let me add to my list real quick, working out, <laughs> mama working out, <laughs> baby. I've been in the gym. I've been hitting that Stairmaster. <laughs> I've been hitting that Stairmaster, baby. I've been hitting that treadmill on an incline of 15, baby. Mama been doing her weights. <laughs> Even though I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing them. I'm doing them. I'm trying to get rid of this flab. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry. I I I'm gonna cry first, but then I'm gonna get up. I love you guys. I have missed you and I cannot wait to see you and talk to you again. Bye.